The SEL 9220 fiber optic adapter for 300 series relays adds significant capability to that product line. What it does is let you convert the 485 port to a point-to-point -point serial fiber optic port. Normally that 485 port is used for a multi-drop low speed connection. The 9220 connects directly onto the back of a 300 series relay. We remove the connector that normally is used for a compression block and insert the 9220 right on the same compression block connector. When the EIA 232 serial ports have an SEL 2812 fiber optic transceiver connected to them, the fiber optic side of that 2812 and of the 9220 operate identically. That is, either of them receive an iRig B signal to synchronize the time and have full duplex bidirectional data transfer on the point-to-point -point link. In fact, you can use a 2812 on the other end of the fiber that is connected to the 9220. In generating plants, SEL 300G relays are used to protect and monitor large electric generators. SEL 2600 RTD modules transmit winding temperature data to the relay through a fiber optic link. Also, the SEL 2664 field ground module protects the excitation field and also communicates through another optical link to the relay. And finally, a third fiber optic link connects to an SEL real-time automation controller or other plant display device or other control centers, engineering access, or for other applications. And so very quickly you can see that there's a need for more than the two 232 ports and it's the 9220 connected to the 485 port that provides that third port's capability. So for example, with all of those ports populated with either fiber optic transceivers or the 9220 adapter, one could be used for the RTD module, one for the excitation module, and the third for connection to an RTAC. In electrical substations, applications include logic schemes that use two mirrored bits ports on the relay and a third port for connection to an RTAC or other type of SCADA system. So applications for main time main, three terminal lines where we need mirrored bits communications to several stations from the same relay, or just to add additional I.O. to a relay through the use of an SEL 2505 I.O. module. So in summary, what the SEL 9220 does for you is provide you with a third serial port that's very useful on many SEL 300 family applications. Once it's installed, the EIA 485 port becomes a point-to-point -point serial fiber optic link that operates just like the SEL 2812 connected onto a 232 port. So we use fiber optics for all of these links because it's safer in the plant, there's higher data integrity, and now you can accomplish a lot more by having that third fiber optic link made possible by the SEL 9220.